Greetings, 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 everyone. Um, this is your girl, your woman, your sister, your daughter, Kimmy Flowers, Mama Kimmy Flowers. And I am feeling amazing today. I, okay, first of all, I want to introduce you to the newest member of my plant family. One or uh, two of some very beautiful sea stars that came to see me yesterday and uplift me and encourage me, gave me this. And it is just so, I haven't had an orchid in a very long time. And the funniest thing is that every single time I'm going through like a massive transformation, um, I, I mean, orchids pop up. Um, when I was working for corporate America, um, on my very last day, I was given an orchid. Um, and now, like there's just so much transformation and so much beauty happening in my life and they come to my home. And this is like the, the very first time that I've met them in the flesh, you know. Um, they come to my home and they give me this orchid and it's just, I was just, I was floored. Um, I, this is my new baby here. So I just want to introduce you guys to her. It's very symbolic for me of just uh, a rebirth. Look how beautiful, just beautiful. The purple, everything, just so beautiful. Sea star, thank you. Thank everybody for their love and support. Thank everybody for your upliftment and encouragement. Um, but yeah, today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, so many people don't really, I guess, understand the difference between hybrid and GMO. So I get people saying, well, hybrid is GMO, but that's not the case. Mo most of the food that we have on the market today is hybrid. All hybrid is is that they've taken two different, I guess, of strains of the same vegetable or you know whatever in the same family group and they've crossed them to make a more hearty flavor color whatever they look like now um if you're a prepper like i am i i, I say prepper you know um I, I i i don't i don't really actively do like the prepping like i used to because really i just feel like there's a lot of changes going on on the planet but i i feel more guided um, by the most high more than anything now. I, I don't feel like I have to lean on the physical as much as I used to, you know, back seven, eight years ago or whatever. Um, but I do still have my bug out bag and I'll do a video on that to show you guys what all I have in it. It's like a bag you just grab and go. I don't have any food or anything in there because I'm pretty, I'm confident in my knowledge of, um, in my connection with the planet, knowing what I can eat out here, what I can't uh, the medicinal values of these things, but I'll make a video on self-sustainability and I go over the things that I have in my bug out bag and things of that nature. So anyway, um, hybrid. Hybrid is not genetically modified. Uh, it, it's just they've taken two, it's cross-pollination basically. Um, and, and, and that's that. Um, if you were to take something that was hybrid, the seed, and dry it out and plant it again next year, you might get one of the two plants. You know, if you had a, a hybrid uh, tomato grown with, you know, the beef steak and then grow with another one, you know, uh, you know, it, the seed itself, and then you planted it next year, you might get one of the two. So you, you, you most likely will not get the same plant that, or the same fruit that you got this year. So, and it, they don't really last as long. So for people that are into the prepping and, 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 and the, the, the keeping of the, you know, seeds and everything for gardening, um, they don't keep quite as well. Um, typically, I would say half the life. Um, so their integrity is pretty much compromised. Um, I think the best place to keep your, um, the seeds and everything that you're trying to harvest and things of that nature is in the freezer in a dry place. I put mine in an envelope and like I wrap it in foil, put it in an envelope or just keep it in an envelope. And then I transfer each year. I just recently um, moved. So I don't have a garden where I'm at. <laughs> it's killing me. I've been here not long at all, a couple weeks. Um, and so, yeah, I'm planning, I'm getting everything. I got my compost going again. I'm getting my raised beds going. So I'm really ready. I'm gonna be ready for the fall, end of summer. So yeah, I'm good to go. Um, but yeah, when you're harvesting seeds, you want to kind of rotate. So anything you get from this year, um, if you, um, you're gonna take the seeds from the strongest plant that you have, the strongest, most hardiest plant, lay down a napkin, dry it out, all that. And there's so many videos on exactly how to do it. I'm not gonna try to go into all of that in this little video here, because it can get lengthy. But you can look it up on how to harvest seeds. 
Um, I think I should have some in the playlist on um, gardening and different things like, of that nature. Um, yeah, so harvesting the seeds, you want to, whatever you plant this year, the strongest plant, the most, the, the strongest fruit, you're going to take seeds from that one, um, from the most favorable fruit, and then save the seeds from that. And then next year, you can utilize those seeds to plant. Or if you have seeds from last year already saved, you would use those seeds. And vice, you know, you just want to keep on, keep the rotation going um, so that you're not dealing with stale, seed, stale seeds and things of, of, of that nature. Um, heirloom seeds, hybrid seeds, um, heirloom or non-hybrid, um, all that kind of good stuff. Now, GMOs, GMOs are where they have literally taken the, um, they've crossed um, animal, basically animal plant kingdom. You know, they take the, the genes, get out of here, little fly. They take the genes from, let's say a spider or something, or something that's totally unrelated, you know, to this specific fruit or vegetable, something that's outside of its family. And then they cross the gene. Um, that, that is the nature. And then they also, you know, they, they the, the pesticides and all that is built in. That's why they're so beautiful. Um, because, plant, I mean, animal, like insects and all that don't want to eat them. Um, they're not edible. <laughs> they're not edible. GMOs are not edible. I don't care what people say. For anybody that can feel energy, if you take the, 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 the like a genetically modified head of corn and you put it in your right hand and you put it in your left hand and you hold it there, you will feel that there's no change. There's no life to it. It's not, it's void of any any life bearing substance. It's not a sun food. Um, it's dead food. It's, it's literally like zombie food. It has no value to you as far as information is concerned to your body as, 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 as a soul having being. It is literally modifying your genetics, modifying your DNA. Um, now food is information. Uh, of course, the, your the digestion of food is merely the, it's, it's just, um, extraction of information and things that your body may need and what it doesn't need it just it totally um it expels you can get three different messages three different pieces of nutrients from from spinach depending on the day that you eat it and depending on what your body needs and what resonates with your body at that moment that's the beauty of food and your body and digestion and things of that nature um but yeah i just wanted to clear up some of that people are like, oh no, hybrids are GMO. No, genetically modified organisms are not are, are, are and hybrid foods are not the same. You know, um, hybrid foods are have been around for a long time. Our ancestors have hybridized food for so long. These genetically modified foods do not cross pollination. They literally have to take this into a lab. And then if you try to take the seed of this and plant it, guess what? It will not fruit the next year. So it's like infertile from the get-go. It's, it's, it's born without, um, you know, the ability to repro reproduce. Um, and that's just the nature of it. You know, they have like the seed vaults. And um, these genetically modified seeds are no are not allowed anywhere near, you know, ex nay. They're like, hell no, we don't want those GMOs, you know. Um, so next time you go to the grocery store and you are, you know, looking at things and all that kind of stuff and, you know, you're unsure of, of something, I encourage people to, if, if, if at all possible, garden, first and foremost. That's, that's like the most important powerful thing that you can do is start a small garden it doesn't matter it can just be the herbs what what herbs do you use the most do you use cilantro do you lose use thyme do you use oregano do you use rosemary start off with a small little kitchen herb garden and then tomatoes and jalapenos and things and then your greens you can grow all types of greens just in the house or outside you know just a, there's a lot of things that you can do sprouting you know i'm just throwing this out there sprouting you can sprout seeds and eat the sprouts um, sprouts are so high in nutrients and they are delicious. Um, yeah, I don't want to go too much in depth in this video, but I definitely did want to um, dispel those type of, um, you know, people thinking hybrid and GMO are the same when they are definitely, they're definitely not. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for joining us. <laughs> 
You guys have a beautiful day. Get yourself some sun. It's early here still. I'm about to get me some more sun. I'm about to get out this house. I'm about to go to maybe the farmer's market, see what kind of different fruits I can find that I haven't had. I'm about to have some fun today. So I leave you guys with love. I give, leave you guys with wholeness. I leave you guys with, with fearlessness, cor courage. I leave you guys with self-love, self-acceptance, healing, the ability to face those things which you are fear the fearful of facing the most. I leave you with power. I leave you with everything that you need on this journey. I may not know exactly what it is that you need, but the intentions in my heart are for, for, for you to receive exactly what it is that is necessary for you via the most high on your journey. All right? You guys have a beautiful, 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 beauty-filled day. All right. Love.